go. That's actually awesome. Yes! Finally! Ah. Oh man. Okay, that's definitely the hardest run I've done on this level by far. That. Those, like, triple blue blue yellow orbs are so weird and make no sense at that, that i have to get better at that robot if i want to beat this level there's no way i can just do that like i spent maybe two hours on that part yesterday straight it was late in the evening so i was probably fatigued and it was after i grinded out the drop cube but definitely the hardest part of the level for me even though it has like no super tight timings it's just robot is janky and the slope slope jumps are odd i almost made it to 100 that would have saved me a run now i have to do last last cube uh but jeez that's sick I wish I could have got that from the robot, but oh well. So now I have this level in six runs. That's <laughs> that's pretty cool. I can't believe this level is above Bloodlust on the leaderboard. That, that's not right to me. Because I can't do anything in Bloodlust. I literally can or not the leaderboards, the list, but like I lit, this is, I know that a lot of this difficulty comes from the length, but so, then again, so does Bloodless. I think I'm just good. I don't know. This is definitely, this level definitely leans towards my skill set a lot more than any other level around its difficulty, because there's no ship or wave, and I find ship and wave fun, but I'm not very good at them. But like ball timings, easy peasy, cube timings, easy peasy, robot, eh, that's the only part I'm mad about, which is why that was the hardest part for me. This is going to be really cool when I get this though, I'm very excited.